the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down. He broke his crown. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Nah, I'm enough firepower by myself. I mean, you could even ditch the other guns and just use me, and we would still win. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Another living Gatlian? Really? That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. What? You're asking us to find him? How? We do it the old-fashioned way. And ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But we'll pick up your slack. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Oh, sure. Give us detective mode now. This would have been useful earlier. All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately. And... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? So you're useless. Go figure. Thanks a lot, Gene. Dispatch 146. Hey, we're asking you some questions. Do you know Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Do I look nervous? <laughs> Jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial. Hey, sorry, yeah, no, he can't talk. He just sort of makes that noise. Yeah, it's gross. I don't want him to do it anymore. Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great. He's a good drummer, and I think it would help him. You know, he's a good musician. I think it would... He, trust me, it'd be worth your time. A drum? That's all he wants? Yeah, sure, we'll get him a drum. Did you forget? A match made in heaven. Took you long enough. The concrete I poured to dry down. You should try letting someone carry you instead of running everywhere. It's great. Oh my god, you found the kid a drum, right? Is this for him? Can he have it? I'd rather not, but fine. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not gonna let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. Oh shit, so the little freak can play.
You there! Yeah, you slick! Tell us what you know about Dr. Giblets. Slick? What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy! You need anything else, or can I fucking go? God, please! Don't let it turn to night again, the coyote! What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person! Trying to live a normal life in the sea. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors. So let's say that was a C rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. I'm wondering if I can order a burger. No! Hungry back! Why are all these dorks here? Hey, I hope you're having a great day, Bounty. Oh, look at this. Suddenly everybody wants to get into the dirty old slums. Just because High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new, too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. Would you mind watching my bike for just a minute? I, I, I Just keep an eye on it. I'll be right back. All right, sure, but you better be fast. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Don't let anything happen to my bike. Where's my bike? I asked you to watch my bike and you just let someone take it? Where'd it go? That was an expensive bike. Ugh, chill out. We barely looked away. <laughs> my mommy gave me that bike after my daddy yelled at me. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, let us talk to you. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow. You, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo. That was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. All right, Blordo, we need the hookup on Dr. Giblets. Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? You got a problem with us asking for Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Lodge is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead! See? Was that so fucking hard? You know, we had to talk to a bunch of losers just to get you to open up. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S rank interrogation. But uh, I did really get a few laughs out of watching his body. I couldn't believe it. I went there as a skeptic. I left as a. Hey, that was my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Yeah, yeah. Have a good day. Oh man, I could do this all day. There's always more. Hey, we heard you were asking.
asking around for giblets. Well, you're back. Well, the tour you need somebody to go with now. you? So it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait. Oh, shit! It's you! Ah, jeez, I thought you killed all these guys already. Oh, God! It's the bounty hunter! They're They were right. Life sucks. Woo! Disc is prepped. place. Walk around like assholes. Fuck that shit. Ow, I know this is hurting you too. So get the fuck out of this shit. Ah, oh, 
uh, gentrification, a classic. Oh, now it's hip. Oh, now it's hip to live down here in the sludge, huh? But I, I don't like what they're doing over here to this place. It's, it just feels weird. Oh, you know I'm always gay. Chicole's ready.
Here it is. High on life. Sweezy's gonna fuck you up. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut lines. Uh, the rules do not apply to the law. Bond. You don't understand. This isn't like a consumer loyalty thing. It's more like uh, I'm addicted to drugs. Seven nine two three. Your local hyperbond super. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm pseudo, by the way. You know me. Dude, go away. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit, pseudo. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbon 6? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fixed. High on life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our high on life care program? Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great, but you do get a D ranking because that one sucked. Uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek. Uh, I'm going to be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbon 6 midnight launch, and we literally just opened, so uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Me? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, well, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I, I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. You know him though, right? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though. I don't really know where he is. Hey, where are you going? There's still more stuff you can ask him. What? I told you, I have 
have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not not so good. It looks like we uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like that poke in that beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Jesus, enough with all these fucking weirdos hassling us. Fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, yeah? he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this, got it? We've got this covered. What the fuck were they on about? <laughs> Abide! This was classic mystery stuff. Except it seemed very obvious this guy was trampled to death. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally, he was very... He fucked up. Yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Detectives aren't perfect. Sometimes we steal property off a dead corpse. But we'll do whatever it takes to solve the case. Sick moves! You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than David Glutes ever did. Look at you!
all day. It's so nice to be back in your hands again. It feels really good to be here. You really have nice and warm hands. Welcome back. We've got company. You guys, no worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been warping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. We get to meet a famous guy? Welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hello. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Oh, that's a good idea. I think we were already going to do that. 
But then we hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. You're being hard to understand. Just tell us where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa. Even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then you want us to, you know... Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Wow, what? That's gonna be helpful, thank you. What's this? What did we just pick up? Oh, right, sorry. The map data to get to Dr. Thanks Jim. for helping Forgot. Me. Yeah. I'm on the same we love page. Our dad. Plug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. You're doing great work. You ever had a man die yet? really good. Cog may or may not have shown us where Dr. Giblets is. I'm a little confused, as usual. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Fell up the hill to fetch a pail of water. And Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell Mr. Keeps! Ah, pleasure doing business with you. Thanks for your business. Don't buy anything else. You better treat that purchase like it's Christine Aguilera. Slide the way!
was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway. Kenny, back in action. Sweezy's gonna fuck you up. Yo! 
you for bringing me back out. I will never let you down again. I'm so sorry you don't like me very much. What's going on? Just kidding. I was fucking with you there to keep you on your toes. I'm so fucked up, though, that that could happen. I could forget what's going on, and I'd be very scared. We could be in the middle of a high-stakes battle, and suddenly I might forget what the fuck we're doing and get us killed. That could happen anytime. It's not funny. Thank God, thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. Holy shit, dude. You're fucked. What happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well, it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. Then it was Dr. Giblet's base. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. No, come on. You're not dead yet. We're still here with you. Rest in peace, fucko. Can I help you? I'm just out here living my best life. You got a good vibe about you. Back already. Hi there, traveler. Giblets, you sick fuck! Come on out! Where are you? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Fine, let's just get this shit over with. Huh, that's uh, a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? 
Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives because we need a good mystery to solve. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for. That's what drones are for, they're for combat. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what, that makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you, that's what you're doing. You should go back and investigate more. I hope Pseudo gets a virus and dies. But he's right. We got to sick. We're back. We're going to keep investigating now. Let's find Dr. Giblets. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. He better be there. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess... Howdy there, cowboys! Uh, oh, shit. Sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives! Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. Oh, really? Is that what we're supposed to do? Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. No, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look. These must be old hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! Alright, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, baby! Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second... Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. A Gatlian's in there. Oh, no, they look like shit. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's going to happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. So you wasted our fucking time, Pseudo! Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets! serve you please tell me how I can help I love you so much
In the end, Dr. Giblets took the easy way out. A little disappointing because I was looking forward to a fight. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Giblet status report. No life cells detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello! If you're hearing this pre recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave! Another ambush! That's detective life for you. So many ambushes. Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now! I'm dead and you're trapped in here! All the prey to my glorious science you were ever so jealous of! That's right, Timothy! I know it was you. For what? The inheritance? My lab? Or just a plain old space Oedipus complex? No matter! Stand a chance. 
As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw great potential in both the Fergals and the Gatlians. But now, I see how foolish I... Oh, the other Gatlian! Both I think they called him... Gatlian. Hello? Human. Hello there! You alive, guy? Humans. Oh, no. Are going to change. Sleeping. Or you know what? Probably he's dead. I don't know, maybe Gene can help? I just wanted to say, you know, today, today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, oh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye. And with that, everyone lived happily ever after. It was a happy, perfect day, and the children were laughing, see? Amazing. The end. Okay, I'm done with that voice. Look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. 
See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go! Come on over! Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if it can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. Let me give you the news. <laughs>